What's up, peeps? This is Kevin. Um, wanted to talk quickly today about the differences between geo-targeting with an IP address and geo-targeting with a hybrid audience based on first-party rules. Um, the majority of geo-targeting today, as you see this fries ad up here, is done by where the IP address is located, meaning that um, as an advertiser, I want to reach people in downtown Portland, and so I'm going to target this advertising, this advertisement or this banner ad, specifically to IP addresses that say uh, that that IP address is located in downtown Portland. The problem with that is the location of an IP address is dependent upon the accuracy, uh, or actually the location that the internet provider places on the IP address. Um, and they aren't necessarily, actually they aren't at all required to keep those files updated. So what ends up, what ends up happening is if an IP, if a, uh, let's for example Comcast um, would have a million IP addresses here in Portland and they could use to serve this market, if they had another market that was had an influx and needed more IP addresses, uh, the Comcast could actually steal some from this market and shift them up to uh, let's say Seattle. Uh, so what ends up happening is you get a bunch of IP addresses in Seattle that actually say those consumers are from Portland. Uh, so you can see how that would cause some problems. Uh, another one is, uh, which I'll show you an example here in a second, um, is if you're on a corporate network or a corporate uh, contract with an internet provider, uh, you are completely, uh, your location is going to be dependent on that. Um, and if we flip over here, uh, I'm sitting in the offices of the Oregonian Media Group, um, and right now my internet access, and I'm going to show you this is actually a Cognito window, so everything's it's pure. Um, I'm, I am being shown onto the internet as being located in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and I think specifically this town here, I don't want to really butcher, because uh, I probably, I respect the Georgia people. Um, so if I were trying to target as an advertiser, if I was trying to target... Portland, Oregon, or the Portland DMA, um, there's no way they could target me because actually my IP address says Georgia, right? So that poses a big problem, um, especially when you're dealing with a, a very techie or a very corporately driven downtown area. You're only going to be able to hit like, I don't know, a smaller percentage of the total audience. Um, so one of the ways you can get around that is to use a hybrid audience. Um, and the hybrid audience is based on first-party cookies that are developed or acquired by a publisher. Uh, so right now, actually, you're looking at an Oregon Live page, um, and every time this page is downloaded or viewed, and I'm going to refresh it here for you, um, it actually presents a a first-party cookie or a tag, um, and that tag acquires or tracks individual information uh, and activity that are going on in this page. Um, so, for example, as I read this article, it's showing that uh, the, the tag is actually tracking what I'm reading. If I comment on it, if I share it, um, then the tag on the page uh, and the, the cookie associated is saying that as a consumer, I have interest in the homeless in Portland. Um, and so the content rules or the, the hybrid audience rules are if you absorb three or more articles in one seven-day period, uh, about Portland, you're considered to have Portland, Oregon interest and intent. Um, and so the geos actually focused or targeted towards your intent versus your actual IP location. In this situation, because my IP address says I'm in Georgia, uh, my hybrid activity would say I'm actually in Portland. So what happens is I end up getting two ads that are very relevant to me, even though my IP address is incorrect. And so you can kind of see it's, it's, it's a very, very important part of your overall campaign strategy. Uh, I recommend possibly running in a couple different lines. So if you're unsure uh, of the quality of your first party provider um, or the hybrid audience itself, uh, maybe run a campaign line specifically targeted towards IP address uh, in like, for example, Portland, Oregon, um, and then run a secondary line with the same targets uh, with a behavioral or a hybrid audience uh, geolocation um, right underneath it and then optimize to the best performing. Uh, and by best performing, I'm not necessarily talking click-through rate uh, because you can still get clicks by people that are obviously interested in Portland but don't live here. Uh, I really recommend 
uh, relying on your engagement metrics on your analytics and possibly uh, your tag manager if you're if you're trying to drive some kind of conversion. So thank you very much. I really appreciate the uh, opportunity to talk to you. If you have any more questions or concerns or just want a little more on the topic, please hit me up. Uh, I believe the contact information somewhere up here above this you know, video to the right. It says contact. Hit me up there and shoot me a message um, or reach out on LinkedIn. Thank you very much.